Today let's talk about the diving attachment in Atlas. The diving attachment is made available through the piracy tree. It can be made at the smithy for only 140 fibers, 46 hide, 62 metal, and 260 wood. You can place a diving attachment anywhere that you could place a dinghy dock, meaning there are two locations on a schooner, four on a brigantine, and six on a galleon. If you access the inventory on a diving attachment, you'll see there is one empty slot where you can put oil. The amount of oil you put in determines how long you can stay in the diving suit, and the piracy tree has skills that can lengthen that time. If a diving attachment has oil in it, you can interact with it by pressing E, and that will put on or take off the diving suit. This greatly limits your visibility, and going into third person does not help. However, it does enable you to breathe underwater so long as there is a supply of oil available. This enables you to spend more time underwater collecting things like algae, jute, or pearls, but most of its use will likely be seen salvaging wrecked ships. To remove a diving suit, simply go back to your diving attachment and interact with it like normal. If you're planning on spending a lot of time underwater, you may want to consider clearing out the aggressive animals, and personally I like luring them to the surface and then eliminating them with a ballista turret mounted high off the deck. That's your bottom line up front covering just about everything, but if you'd like to see a bit more, just stick around. Thanks for sticking around. I recently leveled up and decided it was a good time to respec and show how we get to the skills needed to build the diving attachment. I'm going to be spending a lot of my stat points on weight capacity since I intend to be using this build to salvage wrecks and the amount of resources you get doing this is considerable and I don't want to have to leave too many of them behind. Starting in the survivalism tree we want to unlock construction and because I need to collect some more oil I'm going to unlock tools of the trade so I can build spears as well. In the construction tree, we're going to go right down the middle, three skills, and then down into the left to get to seamanship. On the far right of the third row of seamanship, we can unlock piracy. And within piracy, in order to build the diving attachment, we need to unlock secrets of piracy. The piracy tree also has a plunder chain of skills that greatly increases the amount of resources you recover, as well as a chain of diver skills which increase the diving suit's durability and the amount of time you can spend underwater in a diving suit. Of course, if you really want to be an expert diver, you can also go back to the survivalism tree and pick up additional swimming speed and reduce your oxygen consumption rate. Now before we go diving, let's make sure we have the materials we need. The fibers, hide, metal, and wood are simple enough, but we're also going to need some oil. I find it easiest to get fish oil as there's plenty of it waiting to be harvested from many of the creatures under the sea. Not all sea creatures provide fish oil. Unfortunately, the sea bass, probably the most plentiful sea creature near the shore, does not provide us with any fish oil. Manta ray and shark are common enough and they provide fish oil, however they're not too eager to share it with us. Personally, I like to look for tuna as they do provide fish oil and don't seem to mind us killing them quite as much. Harvest your tuna using a pick to maximize fish oil. Catching them with a fishing rod only provides us with the meat. Now that we have all the materials we need, let's swim out to my custom deep water exploration schooner and install a second diving attachment just in case someone else wants to go down with me. I already have the materials ready and it doesn't take long to build, so after a quick trip to the smithy, we can go out to the port side and install our second diving attachment. Once we have it in place, all we have to do is add some oil, and then we can go out in search of a shipwreck. To be clear, by no means am I suggesting that this ship or design is ideal or even good for this type of mission. I've built this more for aesthetic than for function. Obviously a schooner can have far more than four cannons, 
And there are two tiers of ship above the schooner that can carry more armor, firepower, and loot. I already have a particular shipwreck in mind, so I'm going to sail out to it and then wait for morning so we can see more clearly. Here we are. As you probably know, this type of debris on the surface is an indication of a shipwreck. This is merely the indication of a shipwreck being on the seafloor. You don't actually harvest the debris on the surface. We're going to stop directly next to the debris, and if you dive straight down, you should not have any trouble finding the shipwreck. I spent some time clearing out some nearby manta ray that were giving me some trouble, and we should be okay to dive now, so long as we don't have any sharks arrive. As I said in the beginning of the video, if you're having trouble with wildlife, I personally like to lure them to the surface, and then have friends shoot them with ballista. In most parts of the sea, the seafloor is very deep, and that's why the diving attachment and diving suit are so important. You may be able to dive this deep without running out of breath, but getting back and also having enough oxygen to defend yourself is another story. When you're this deep in the sea, it can be hard to tell visually which way is up or down, but if you just pull your mouse back or forward depending on if your controls are inverted, you can know that you're facing straight down. On your way back, the opposite is true, however the hose to the diving suit will direct you back to your ship. You can see a mast of the ship now, and the way you plunder a shipwreck is not by harvesting it with any type of tool, but by demolishing it. Normally, demolishing a component of a shipwreck will give you back half of the materials spent to construct it, however, if you've invested in some of those piracy skills, you can increase that considerably. Because I did invest in some of those plundering skills, I got nearly 75% of the cost of making a large speed sail, and unfortunately, I'm now encumbered, so I'm going to have to dump off something. I'm thinking half of the wood should be good enough. Now it's time to swim back to the surface, board the ship, and take off this suit. As you can see, I'm walking very slowly. It's true I'm carrying a lot of weight, but I'm not encumbered. Most of this is because we're wearing the diving suit out of the water. To remove the diving suit, we just go back to the diving attachment and press E. Now we can bank our salvage, check our oil level, and repeat the process until our ship is at max weight or the shipwreck is completely plundered. That's all I have for the diving attachment and I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please like or comment and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see my future Atlas videos. Of course, you can dislike as well, but if you do that, I'm going to find out what sector you live in, plunder all the shipwrecks of everything except for one plank, and that way every time you go to a shipwreck, you barely get any loot at all. Thanks for watching Bluff Gaming, and I'll see you on the high seas.